everybody and welcome back to the heroic boss guides uh, this time it's lady nasha i have created a brute deck and uh, yeah we should focus on having every turn something to play some minion because um, as you remember from the normal mode uh, she is basically turning the minions into um, new minions with the same mana uh, for our minions and hers will be upgraded by one mana cost so that means we should try to stay ahead kill what she is uh, trying to bring to the board and i think this looks uh, quite promising here we will innovate here and play our uh, imp master because this makes uh, yeah, basically two minions and um, those will be now replaced by something and now this looks perfect for us we will kill her um, sheep here as i said try to get rid of everything that she's playing because then she cannot upgrade that's important to play something so we were not able to play something on the second turn but we can could at least clear the board which is fine so she is playing two or a figure spirit and has two minions there. She was upgrading it and this doesn't look good. But we have also for this an answer. We neutralize the big taunt here and use our hero ability to kill the um, magma rager there and attack her for three damage. This is not important right now. The importance is really stay in the game, have more stuff on the board than she has and everything should work out. So right now we play the Razor Fan Hunter and attack phase for four more damage here. That look good. Oh, she's playing Lightning Storm, which is not so good because she is killing two of our four minions and then upgrading them perfect i thank her for that um, now we can play the silver hand recruit or the goose and the danassus is maybe a better play here because she has nothing on the board we have now five minutes on the board and she has also two crystals mana crystals locked so she can only play the mirror entity and uh, okay. she has a crossbow okay. now we have four which get replaced to really bad ones but nevertheless we can play now our sea giant here which is strangely enough always replaced with a, another um, sea giant as there is nothing else with the same um, with the same mana cost as minions and what i think is maybe a bug is that when this uh, sea giant gets hurt it will not be replaced with the one with full health it stays as injured as it is and this is something that i yeah, cannot understand if this is correct so right now um we have also a Keltadar there, so we will kill our Haunted Creeper here. Then use our 2-2 two -two here, run into it. Play the Keltazar. So we will get the Haunted Creeper back. Attack here. I know I will not get uh, healed, but nevertheless we have a strong or a full board. So now she is playing Keeper of Uldermorn and has the blue grill. So there you see we have still 8-2 there, it was not replaced, but we got an Grumash. We should now try to um, use our low cost minions to kill the Quartermaster on her side and replace um, our killed minions with uh, some some bigger minions and this is not so clever what i have just done but okay maybe next turn we can make use of the two damage and we will run also the flying machine into the quartermaster so 
Her board is clear. And we play our silver hand recruit right now. And go with everything into her face. What we have on the board. And that's our hero ability. So she is down to seven now. Another keep of good amounts. And a code light oracle. She cannot make us overdraw. And let's see what she gets after the swipe here. Perfect. So this is one, and we even get a savage draw. This is an easy way how to beat Lady Nasja. I hope you enjoyed it, and I could help you as certain. And always, you have the deck list in the description below. Please consider to follow, favor, and subscribe to my channel. And see you at the next uh, boss guide. See you and bye bye. Bravo! The pearl is ours. Accompany me to the Hall of Explorers and we shall assemble the artifact together.